guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 23 and 24 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm like, you know how you get slightly nervous during a national or whatever? Yeah. That's me. Like, I, I really need these kids to practice. We have three episodes left, not gotten this one. But, uh. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really don't. I'm just scared. This is the only thing I gotta watch today, and I'm glad that this is the only thing I have to watch today because I, I did two shows yesterday and one today. And I was like, I just want to have this on its own so that I can just be emotional and in the moment with it. And if I cry, I cry. If I don't, I don't. I mean, oof. I'm just scared because I feel like these kids are not going to win. And all that hype of wanting to finally win something for not only Kedita, but also Hiro. It's going to be for nothing. Plus the fact is like, what? Akira, Akira, I don't remember, because, you know, I went on my little break last week, um, bringing, uh, Jose, Jose's mom and her grandma, Jose's, no, yeah, Jose's mom and Akira's grandma, and I just need to see that. I want this performance between these two episodes so that her mom can be there and to see it, and just, like, be in that moment and cry. Such a good job, and I'm so excited, but I'm nervous. Ugh. I can't even see the whole thing because of the fact is they like literally just cut that off. Is it supposed to look like this? I don't know. See, I like the fact that they're showing this again because we get to see their POV, the stuff that they had to go through before their performance with this, this for national. But uh. because it could have been any reason of why they lost, it could have been somebody messed up secretly and you didn't hear it. Don't be ashamed. It's not your fault. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more of a hug. But, um, for their relationship, that is a hug for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You do better. I mean, because this is a group of about, like, what, about, like, 20 girls? Because it seems like it's possibly maybe 20 to 20 plus, maybe. <laughs> and you gotta feel for them, because it feels like it's 
when they all fail, they all fail. I mean, I get that because you can't win at everything. Only 24? So then it might be a group of 30 girls and she's only going to take 24 and that means only um, socks. The only thing that I can really instantly compare that to is watching one of this like, it's like a cheerleading show that I used to watch and they have it like a group of 300 girls and they can only take like under 30. But then it also seems like because the girls who they're focusing on in this episode, you already know that they're going to be in that group of 24 girls. I mean, you know what? This has always been on my mind about Kazusa. I, I, there have been times where I've thought Kazusa is a little stuck up, only really because of like the ish that happened in like the first half of this show when we first met her and how she was a certain type of way towards Tika, um, and then how like when she saw her, she was like, "Oh my god, ish and stuff." And I, I get that. Like, if you are a fan of somebody, yes, you got the right to be like that. But still. <laughs> You can't always be stuck up and like, mm, like I'm better than you. Even in a group of 30-something girls, you can't do that. Because then there's jealousy and then people hate you. Maybe you should stop look at your hands. Jesus. Is it because you work too hard? It's it's a little unclear. Her posing is done beautifully. But yes, I mean her hands. Her hands are like mm mm. Oh no, don't be I feel like she's gonna cry. She's gonna wait until everyone leaves and just cry. I mean, 
mean, she put her all into it. You could see, but I mean, it was just something. Cody. Go play. She's got to do this on her own. You can't always be there to help her. She has to learn that there's gonna be, she's going to have to do things on her own. Mm -hmm. Come here. Go play. I mean, that's obvious, though. We all kind of figured that out. You come home with a trophy for her, even though I don't know. I have no idea who the frick is going to win. <laughs> They're just so scared. Should we just wait on the sidelines and try again next year? You feel a certain type of way, don't you? Not this year. It has to be your final year of high school.
Really? It's really shocking to say, though, Chica, but... Mm. It's okay, you're gonna do fine. Literally almost everyone is here. Who's a cute mom and Akira's grandma? Like, oh my god, we about to, we're almost done with this episode and they're not here yet. Your grandma and Hoseki's mom here too. <laughs> yeah, where is this? You didn't make one for your son. No, you Mm -hmm. I get that.
Okay, so I'm happy that Akita made it. That's a good thing. But still, you still haven't showed her grandma or Horizaki's mom. So they're somewhere in the audience or just, you know, they're waiting for the right time for them to show. Because Or they could be in the car. They're probably in the car because they're probably too good to be like, no, we're not going in. But Akita probably dragged them in like, no, you're going to see this performance no matter what. Because, I mean... It's been 23 episodes that we have three episodes left and I need Hosaki's mom to finally, finally acknowledge her and say that she's done a good job because ever since her father, wait, no, it's like this. When her father was alive, her mom acknowledged her. Her dad said things, but once her father died, it was all about the school and not being a productive parent towards your child and saying that I'm proud of you I'm proud of the achievements that you've done yada yada and how Hosey was trying her hardest to bring her mom back and saying hey into her music and saying I want us to be a family again I want us to talk more and stuff but because her mom was so deep into the issue that she was in Hosey's backstory it just felt harder and harder for Hosey Cody to um, reach for her and so I feel like these next three episodes are possibly going to be the last time that she's going to be able to, because if she doesn't, there's no way in like how many ever years that she could possibly reach her. You never really truly know. Y'all know because y'all finish the show. Me, I'm almost done. I have three episodes left and these last three episodes could literally end any single freaking way. But it's just a prediction because I'm guessing what they're doing with not only this episode but the next episode with the girls academy being focused this on episode 23 and then 24 being focused on the um on the teacher who they just showed with um mio and stuff they're going to be focused and then our group are going to get the last two episodes specifically focused on them we're going to see them you know in 25 and them being you know all charged up ready to go having a, a beautiful amazing performance and then 26 is just where we're going to find out who won Who's going to cry? Who's not going to cry? Who's going to be happy even though they won or they lost? And then maybe that's when Hosuki and her mom will have a talk. Maybe even Akita's grandmother might even say something to Hosuki because that's another thing that I've wanted because even though I don't really like Akita's grandma because of her stuck up stubbornness and how the way she is and how she's made Akita this sort of perfection in a way and it's like that that I don't really go want to go into too much detail about but it, like I said if you've seen it you know um and how she's really just kind of dogged Hosuki ever since and because uh, Akira used to be like that as well but until she finally saw the light and was able to finally get away from her grandma and to finally you know say something to her grandma because you no know, that was the best part for me because that tension that she had with her grandma, you could cut that with a knife. It was there. I mean, don't deny it. Everybody was probably watching the show when the show was coming out, like airing last year or whenever the show aired. Um, they could feel that. And you could feel that Akira was like, she was like a bomb. She was a ticking time bomb. And so for her to finally say that, like, oof, that was everything to me. But I just really want um, Akira's grandma to finally say something else besides something rude to Hosei. I mean, Hosei. At first, when we met her, I thought she was going to be one of those stuck-up rich girls who was like, yeah, I know everything about this. 
you don't let me teach you like this it's not like this it's not like that it's like this and in a way she like changed everything of how I was gonna originally see her and so she's honestly one of my favorite characters between her and Kiddo but yeah that's all I want for her she's a precious baby girl that needs to be protected and she needs a happy ending and to be able to reunite with her mom and to be able to talk to her mom and be a family again with her mother but we probably ain't gonna see that till episode 25 not, not even, yeah 25 and you know what that's okay I get the fact that we got to focus on other schools. That's fine. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, I want to see this, not this. You can save it for a different episode. But because of the fact is, it's in the preview, you already know what's going to happen. But, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 24. All right. Episode 24 in three, two, one, go. It is cold in Oh my god, I just want to turn my hair up. It's a good thing that I gotta go back outside in an hour. Because then I can get warm. I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me of Elf from Death Note for some weird reason. Just the way he is. He's strange, but he's interesting at the same time. But the thing is, he ain't gonna die like you know, L from Death Note did. But still, like they have a little similarities and differences between them. They're just both weird, um, not over the top, but different, and not different in a bad way, different in a good way. They're just What was the, their surroundings or something? It seems like that because this is, he, Neo is like a really chilled out guy. L was a chilled out guy too, don't get me wrong, but like L did some ish that I was like, are you serious? Like no matter how many times I rewatch Death Note and I just see L do certain things or really Miyazaki do certain things, I'm like, I still get, like, a little weirded out. I'm, like, at first, the first time when I watched it, I was weird, but then eventually I got, okay, I was okay with it. But no matter how many times I rewatched the show, I'm just, like, yeah, he does that. That's something that he would do. That's his niche. But then when you see, like, in a different anime, someone doing the exact same thing, and you're just, like, what? <laughs> because that's what it feels like. So he's been at the school for 10 years. I can see why he kind of compares it to that. That's interesting. Really weird comparison, but I, I get that, though. <laughs> no, it's not all. You just have to find the right person that likes class. Thank you. 
You just felt like playing it. No, you're fine. <laughs> but your sound can get better, though. That makes sense. But why? Me. Mio, who lays like that? <laughs> That's a very L thing to do. Like, who lays like that? <laughs> Mio, <sighs> this boy. Come on! Oh my god! You're gonna wait until the last few minutes of this episode to finally say yes, aren't you? <laughs> oh. It's sad that you have to quit, but I get it. And I'm guessing Mia's really, really taken back by that. See, there she go. There she go. She keep talking itch. Oh my god. Then if you don't, just go. It's gonna be fine. Oh my god. Stop stressing. <laughs> oh, come on, Lane. and I'm saying anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. It's 
somebody is standing at my mom's car and I'm watching them. I'm gonna have fun. It's pretty loud. You gotta practice. And if you don't practice, it's still gonna be the same thing no matter what. The more you practice, the greater your sound will be. And who knows if he's reached that up, even up until now at like age, what, 16, 17 maybe? Still didn't reach it. Okay, so I get, I get it because he, he's one of those types of people who's really critiqued 
on themselves and about how and what they play and how their sound is supposed to be and how no matter what there's people around them who say oh my god it's beautiful you don't really need to perfect anything but inside of himself he feels like he's a failure that it's not the best up to his standards his standards and my standards and somebody else's standards is going to be completely different It's like how in um, Hana Yamata with the girls and how one girl was like really perfect at doing um, the dance and one wasn't. And so she was really hard on herself throughout the series until she was finally able to do it all on her own. And that's what you want to convey to others, right?
And that's both of them in a way. I don't even know what to say about this episode. I mean, oh God, I, you know, going back to the first time we met Neo and Mr. Yamamoto, I would have never really expected it to go like this. Like, I was expecting them. Like, I knew Neo had some ish about him because, you know, his aura, he's mysterious AF, anger. Like, I want to know everything I can about this kid because he feels troubled. And you could just tell by this look in his face and just the way he looked at you and them. But like, all right, there's something about you I like. But you seem like one of those kids. It's like, you need help. You just don't know it. Or probably you do know it. And you just don't know how to say, hey, I need help. But Yamamoto came into his life at a really good time. And so I'm glad. I mean, I'm sad also at the same time that Yamamoto won't be able to be with him anymore. Because the fact is that he's taking over his um, parents' in because his father collapsed. I get that. But... Sometimes, you know, you want to be selfish and just say, you know, sensei or to whoever, like, I don't think this is right, but still at the end of the day, sometimes even your students don't really have necessary to say. It's kind of the same thing with, I had two music teachers in high school, and one of them, I think, was either by my ninth or tenth, my tenth grade year, one of them had to leave because of um, changes that they were doing because we didn't have enough money in our and it was one of the saddest things, saddest days of my life. Mm-hmm. And I was helped because of you guys. gonna be okay. Just have fun and play your best. (laughs) So you have nothing to Convey that to the audience and to yourselves. Oh my god, okay. I hate the fact that I gotta wait until next week to watch it to see them perform because I was really expecting more of 23 and 24 to finally have them perform, but to see this episode end on a cliffhanger and to know that they're gonna play in 25 and you're just like, I really want to know. It's kind of like with any show, whether it's a competition type of anime or whatever and you're just like okay it's time for the main character of the show to finally go in and you're just like nope you gotta wait a week and it's just like oh my god like I you know I'm a person who does not always like to wait for certain things I just want to be like it needs to be today like let's go I mean it was like that with Kaguya-sama with last week's Kaguya-sama um and so many other shows that I've been watching from 
2016 when I started reactions up until now where it's like, oh yeah, you gotta wait a week to find out. And you like, I don't like waiting a week. It sucks. Like, it's too long. That's seven days. I don't even know why I'm whispering. But that's seven days of being, like, too long. That's like when you're waiting for, like, your Amazon package or any package. Like, once it says, hey, your package has been sent out in the mail and it's coming and then you just want to sit outside and be like, all right, so where my package at? Like, mm, let's go. And it's like, no, it's not going to get here until this day. And you're just like, well, it's today. Where's my package? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm so happy and I'm nervous and I'm excited for these guys. I think they're going to do really, really well. I think Neo School did really, really well as well. But like at the same time, because this, I think they're the last group who's going to go. Uh, yeah. huh. No, I was gross. Freaking hair. Um, who's going to go before we find out who's going to be winning this and who's going to be going on? I mean, it's just like, just the nerves and everything. I mean, I bet y'all was probably nervous watching this. I know I am going into this, these last two episodes like ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, come on, you wouldn't be nervous after that. Who would be nervous after going out like on a performance after that? Because oh my god, but we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes twenty three and twenty four of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreon. And next, I'm about to say Thursday, Tuesday for everybody else for the finale. Bye, guys.